Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mod Your Vape. Today, we are going to be doing a review for John over at Congravate. Um, going to be doing a battery comparison review between a Samsung INR18650 25R. It is a lithium ion battery. I'm looking at some specs here. Here's the battery here. It is a light blue color, almost like a baby blue, sky blue. It's a flat top battery. Um, the writing on the side says INR18650 25R Samsung SDI. Then it has a two with a 2E33. There we go. This battery is rated at 20 amp uh, max discharge. I've read on probably two or three websites, data sheets, um, claiming the same amperage on this thing. A few people want to say that it is a 30 amp battery like the Sony's. Um, until I see a data chart or a few data charts that tell me otherwise, I'm sticking with a 20 amp max discharge on this they are made in south korea um, nominal voltage is 3.6 you have a hundred milliamp cutoff standard charge charging time 50 minutes i will say the charging on this samsung does beat the sony's does charge a lot quicker than a sony also to me it holds a charge a lot longer than a sony Here's the Sony VTC5 that he sent me along with the Samsung battery here. Now I charged them both up when I got when I got them in the mail. Um, vaped on them for till they were about 3.2 volts. Somewhere in there. I think it, yeah, it was about 3.3, 3.2 volts to where they basically wouldn't fire in a mech mod. Um, had a little Family altercation had to go to the hospital, so I brought these along and charged them. Um, vaped on them for another whole day. I've been vaping on them for about a week. And as far as performance, they pretty much perform the same. The Samsung will last a little longer and charges a little faster, in my opinion, than a Sony VTC5. Like uh, John said, the Sonys are getting a little bit played out on the market and they're having to cut corners to meet demand on these Sonys. So I believe they're losing some of the uh, quality that was in these Sonys. Um, the Samsung, like I said, the only downfall I see is it's a 20 amp uh, max discharge on it. as where the Sony VTC5 is a 30 amp discharge. So a little bit lower sub ohms here on the Sony, but I've been running a 0.3 ohm coil setup on the Samsung with no problems with heat, no problems with bulging, discoloration, um, no venting, no smells. It's just a, it's a really good battery. I think I'm gonna jump on the wagon and buy some of these INRs by Samsung. Um, been reading it's the same cell design inside as the Sony's I'll go ahead and pop this back in the stingray here and um, show you how it vapes it's at about 3.8 volts so it's almost a fully charged battery go ahead and put some of that boosted on this coil this is a 0.3 single coil setup, triple twisted, 30 gauge, on a AGI Ginny style tank slash dripper. Got it in drip mode, no drip tip, bored out the hole really good, as you can see. Um, let's go ahead and give it a toot, and then I'll switch over to that Sony battery. And you can just see the comparison. I mean, it's pretty much the same cloud, same taste. Mm. 
that was the Samsung battery. Let's go ahead and throw the Sony battery in here. I do want to give a big shout out to John over at Congravape. Thank you for giving me a chance to review an item that you might carry. And if you do carry these batteries, these Samsung batteries, um, I believe I believe they'll do good. They are a good battery in my opinion. I haven't had any problems with it in the week that I've been using it and I've been vaping on it strong. I've probably charged it, you know, three, four times so far since I've had it. I'm a big dripper. I drip all day long if I can. Now this is the Sony battery in here. And as you can see, I mean, it's pretty much the same density in the cloud, same flavor. But where you're going to see your uh, comparison is in the charging time and the time that it lasts. Both batteries are a 2500 mAh. I believe the Sony VTC5 is a 2500 mAh. Um, if I'm not, someone correct me. It doesn't have the little sticker on it, and it's not a number I keep in the top of my head. So, But um, again, looking at this little data sheet, the cell weight on these Samsungs is uh, 45 grams. The height is uh, 64 millimeters. Diameter is 18 millimeters. Um, operating temperature, recommended recharge. 45 degrees Celsius storage temperature 1.5 years 30 to 25 degrees Celsius um, let's see here pollution free long cycle life no memory effect that's about it I see on the data sheets here It, it, it really is a good performing battery. I mean, like I said, I haven't had any problems with it. I fully charge it to 4.1 volts on the uh, IntelliCharger. My wife's vaped on it. I vaped on it in a couple different devices. My Stingray. I put it in a Chi U. Put it in, let me see, a Nemesis. Variable voltage mod of ammo. And it just performs great. It's a, it's a all-around good battery. I will be adding these to the arsenal of batteries that I have. And again, John, I recommend carrying these on your site, man. Great battery. The Samsung INR 25R. They do make a Samsung INR 20R. And from what I've read... Specs are pretty much the same. That's about it. That's all I got to say about these batteries, man. Excellent battery. Again, John, thank you for sending me the two for a comparison review. And as always, have a good day. Vape safe.